Hey, what's going on guys? I'm Dr. P. Welcome back today for a new video. I really, really appreciate your time. Thanks so much for stopping back by. We have all sorts of stuff to go over in today's video. We're going to talk about leaks coming to Tilted Towers. We're going to talk about what's coming up next for the prisoner because he is almost out of his frozen prison. If you love the Fortnite storyline and lore, this is definitely the place to be. Shout out to the Fruit Faction for continuing to use my code in the Support a Creator section on Fortnite. If you want a shout out for yourself and an upcoming video, just send me a screenshot of you supporting me as a creator and I'll try my best to get as many people on as I can soon. Just about 15 minutes ago, Fortnite went on Twitter and said, Last call. There are only a few hours left to finish your Ice Storm challenges before the version 7.3 update arrives. Battle the Ice Legion until downtime begins tomorrow, January 29th at 4 a.m. Eastern. Downtimes are usually at 5 a.m. Eastern. I'm not sure why they're starting it an hour early. It also looks like the Ice Legion is going to get removed along with this update. At least that's what it's implying very strongly. Look at the way it's worded. It says, Battle the Ice Legion until downtime. For this update, it seems as though they're putting an end date for this, and, you know, it would make sense because some of the Ice Storm challenges involved killing members of the Ice Legion, so it would make sense if the challenges go, so would the Ice Legion. I'm definitely curious to see how many of you guys actually completed your Ice Storm challenges. I was lacking a little bit. I'm not going to be able to finish. I've just been super busy. The Winter's Thorn Glider, which is the reward for actually completing the Ice Storm challenges, looks awesome. And I'm definitely going to be jealous of everyone who has it. Like I said, I'd love to hear how close you got to completing your challenges in the comment section down below. And if you're watching this right as it comes out, there's still time. Go on and grind out the last of your challenges. You'll be happy you did. There's a new message of the day when you log into Fortnite, and it actually says, Coming soon, the Chiller Grenade. Give your enemies cold feet with this winter blast. It's safe to assume this is the new item that's going to be coming out alongside 7.3 tomorrow morning. I'm really excited to see how it plays. There was actually a Reddit post for a long time that got a lot of popularity talking about an item just like the Chiller Grenade. According to a post made by Fortnite Intel, it could have very easily been inspired by the Reddit post. If you didn't know, the Fortnite Battle Royale subreddit is developer supported, meaning they've got people commenting and looking all over the place all the time. And by that logic, it would make sense for Epic to take an idea of something they thought was cool from the Reddit and actually execute that idea. If you look at the picture that was actually put up on Reddit about 73 days ago and then you compare that with the Chiller Grenade picture, it's very similar. It's a grenade with a snowman's face on it. Basically all they did was change the nose from a carrot to some kind of red light and also change the eyes to be X's. That's basically all they did to change the appearance of the concept on Reddit from just about two and a half months ago. We're not quite sure what the Chiller Grenade is going to do specifically, but based on the original Reddit post, if they did take inspiration from that, it says that these grenades would be thrown at a player's feet, which would then chill them. To me, that sounds almost exactly like what happens when you get caught by an ice trap in game right now, or or run across the frozen lake at Greasy Grove. You guys know what I'm talking about when you get those blocks of ice on your feet and you can barely control your character. I feel like that's what these grenades are going to be, where you just throw them at someone and then their feet get covered in ice and it just gets super hard for them to control where they're going. I could be wrong completely, of course, but that's what makes the most sense. Let me know in the comments if you guys are excited for the Chiller Grenade. I feel like it could potentially be pretty overpowered. The real question, at least for me, is how long are they going to be chilled or have their feet frozen or whatever it's going to do? If it's just a few seconds, I can see that. But if it gets to be anything more than that, that just really, really hinders you in any sort of fight and might lead to almost certain death. These grenades are undoubtedly coming in tomorrow's update and I'm extremely excited and curious to see how they play 
if they're going to be overpowered or not because I'm really optimistic. You know, I feel like Epic knows their game better than anyone, at least that's why I like to think. We'll find out soon enough how these actually work out. There's actually been a new leak in the game's coding about a new building coming to Tilted Towers. As you can see on screen right here, it is a five-story building with a very chaotic layout, which is basically a staple of Tilted. It's very good for action, and that's how the buildings in that area should be. At the top of the screen, you can clearly see the reference to Tilted, and you can also see the word office right beside it. So it looks like this is some kind of office building. Besides being just a potentially new building coming to Tilted, I wonder what this building's inclusion might mean in the overall grand sense of the Season 7 storyline. There haven't been that many major updates to Tilted in a while, so if this actually ends up coming to the game, which it probably will, I'd say, I'm really excited about that. You know, that would make the game feel a lot more fresh, even though it would just be one single place changing at Tilted. It would revitalize the area so much. Tilted is already one of the most sought after landing spots, like probably the most popular landing spot in the entire game, to be honest with you. But it gets really boring going there every single time with the exact same stuff. So I like to land at a whole bunch of places. But if this building comes back, you can expect Tilted to be very hectic, even more so than it usually is. And I think that would probably be pretty good for the game. Alright, so now let's talk about the prisoner and what's going on under the castle. So as you guys know, uh, the prisoner is just about released from his prison. The ice is almost completely melted around him. But there's something really interesting. There hasn't really been any progress on the melting since I last updated you in yesterday's video. But what I did discover is the ground isn't snow. The ground is still that ice. That huge chunk of ice is still there. And you know it's important because when you try and hit it, it doesn't let you actually go fully through with the swing. That's pretty much a sign that something is indestructible and means something important. So I wonder if the melting could possibly even continue down below into a room even further below the castle. I might be crazy, I might be the only one, but I definitely thought when I first saw, or at least when you first take a glance at the ground here, it looks like it could be snow. But then when you look at it really closely, you can see the reflection in the light from the ice. It's interesting though that you're walking right across ice and you're not getting the blocks on your feet and skidding around uncontrollably. Real talk though guys, the prisoner, whoever this guy is, he's gonna be revealed very soon, like probably in a matter of days. Just singular days, two or three days max, I bet, and then we really figure out what's going on with this guy. I'd even argue there's a great chance we could get on after the update tomorrow morning and find out that it's already been revealed. I mean, it would make sense. The ice has pretty much fully melted. It's not completely melted, as we know, but 99.5% of it, at least we think, has melted. And now they're having an update that just so happens to coincide with this and have perfect timing? Not to mention there's downtime, meaning it's a big enough update, and usually that's when they update the major things like this. Either way though, regardless of what happens, it's happening pronto. Like literally, it's at the point now where something could happen any moment now, like there could be breaking news about the eggs, or the prisoner, or something else underneath the castle. Literally anything. We don't know where the storyline is going for sure. That's all the more reason to be subscribed and make sure you've got on those notifications. YouTube has been kind of strange with the updates lately. I'm not sure if everyone has been getting the notifications or getting notified of my uploads. To make sure that doesn't happen and to just minimize all the risks, make sure to go ahead and tap that bell. I'm uploading every single day here on the channel, updating you on the latest and greatest on what's going on in Fortnite Battle Royale in regards to the storyline, the lore, any updates that might be going on, nerfs, buffs, literally anything you can think of, I've got it right here on the channel. It's truly a great time to be a Fortnite gamer right now. I really feel like Epic is dialing something up for this season to make it probably one of the most memorable yet, and I feel like there's a chance whatever happens could overtake the popularity of even Season 4 in terms of being the best season Fortnite has had in terms of the storyline. Thanks so much for watching, I'll catch you in a video very soon, and until then, peace out.